ready to go to France. Um, got a tanker on the back, empty. Uh, just going out there to have the tank swapped over onto a brand new uh, chassis. Nice. Um, car, the details and stuff you've got to have to go abroad now is crazy. First of all, passport. Got all my fuel cards. Uh, you've then got to have insurance, logbook. Um, what else we got here? Uh, your copy of your license. And then we've got all your uh, all your details. So your logbook, your license, your operator's license, your insurance. It's all in one folder. Then we've got delivery note, uh, export notes, uh, CMR, uh, and then we have a export declaration as well. We then have the booking confirmation for the train. We then have this barcode thingy thing, a movement reference. So managing your movement reference. Then we have a little um, secure check record. Have you carried out your checks? So we've got uh, check what time loading, date loading, time loading, vehicle inside, you put non applicable because it's a tanker, uh, roof checked for damage, uh, external compartments checked, below vehicle checked. Uh, TIR cord tight and in place, uh, the seal all placed and checked, padlocks placed and checked, seal padlock number, third party check, so inside the cab as well, in the cabin check, uh, time checked, location of check, and then driver's signature. And that there covers your own ass because of the immigrants and, you know, just just the, the people trying to get a free pass in it really um, but yeah that's what stops you from getting a fine um, I don't really know how much it is I haven't really looked into it but if you get caught uh, bringing someone over or whatever I don't know maybe it's five ten grand or whatever like I don't know I don't do it on a regular um, but there is a fine and the drivers liable so it's just a, a matter of covering your own arse, really. Um, we're going to set off now. Should be at the train in about 40 minutes. Um, and then see how long it takes to get on the train. Um, it's going to be quite tight, though, because I'm towing one onto the train. So, not too sad, but we'll get there. And then we're only going a, a couple of hours into France. Um, and then straight back. And then have some time off back in England um, and then yeah we shall uh, do another one tomorrow once I've had my time off so yeah check it out So we're at the freight forwarding centre, um, sort out all the paperwork, getting ready for export. Um, never been here before, so it's a bit of a learning curve for me as well. But uh, we'll have a walk about 10 miles to the office and uh, see what happens. train um, and proper on the length so gonna be a bit tight but hey ho we'll be all right we'll crack on
buggy with me this morning and uh, had to have a night out in the Euro Tunnel at Calais because uh, of uh, crappy paperwork and getting things sorted. So we're now on the move and yeah, all the way back to lovely sunny Kent and then we'll see what today holds. So now we're back in the queue uh, in to get the tickets and on Le Chateau. So yeah, we have a nice recovery today. And uh, this one, just going out for a refurbishment all the way to uh, lovely wet France. Got a bit of lightage and chainage under there. Uh, done a bit of shaftage on this one. And this one has a special, special passenger. Hey! So yeah, a bit of lightage on the back and I've also got me on tow board. So yeah, uh, this one all the way to a wet and windy France with a, uh, a special passenger on today.